So this is um, the video of the 1972 Land Rover Series 3 Defender. It's 2.5 liter petrol engine. Um, rebuilt um, by the previous owner. So probably less than a thousand miles on the rebuild. Um, brand new uh, Weber carburetor, new fuel filter, washer tank, heater box. Um, those two, there's uh, four lines going to the heater box. Two are for an auxiliary heater. Um, new belts, new hoses, new thermostat. Um, very few leaks, oddly enough. New alternator. Um, new coil, um, new battery, new um, uh, na, 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 heater control valve, points, condenser, rotor, cap. Uh, I believe that knuckle is pretty new. Um, looks like possibly the fan, or they did a really good job painting it, one of the two. Um, New fuel pump, um, master cylinder, slave cylinders, or wheel cylinders, I guess. Um, and let's see what else. Brakes work really, really good. Um, there's no brake leaks. It is a one and a half pump, so you have to pump it the first time it goes down halfway. Second time you hit it, it's right at the top. Brakes are actually excellent. They, they stop this thing really well it they're drum but you would not know it it really really does it well so we're going to start this up oh um the it has a ferry overdrive so my thought on this maybe somebody could comment but i would think that when you're going to put it in either four high or four low this guy you know needs to be in in the um in the low range so it would be um, because it comes off the tail shaft of the transmission so I would think that you would kind of have a fight between the front end and the rear end at that point so let's see she's in neutral um, the key it is a it's a locking wheel so sometimes you've got to you know kind of move the wheel around a little bit let's see if she starts up Pretty nice. Let's see, there's temperature, uh, fuel gauge works, temp gauge works, uh, speedometer works, odometer works. Um, let's see, windshield wipers, windshield washers, um, all the lights work, turn signal, um, horn, dip switch, um, everything, everything, everything works. Stuff that shouldn't work, works. <laughs> so, uh, it's got a spotlight in the back. That's also your um, your backup lights. Um, I do have the uh, the build sheet with it that shows you the four options. And, um, but it's pretty cool. It was, it was well loved, you know? So, a um, bunch of old grandpas love this thing. And, uh, let's see it runs just. Just beautiful. Very smooth. Um, no hesitation. Runs really, really cool. Um, I just changed the thermostat, thinking it was not uh, correct, but it is. No um, everything's everything runs great. No oh, issues. New coil. Um, the uh, the grill is not the plastic one. I just I just dislike those, but it's just preference. And let's check for smoke. That is pretty darn good. So everything is in good nick. Don't be afraid of it. This is a good one. So, runs pretty good, pretty stable.
kind of patience with it. Um, but there, everything works as it should. I'm going to demonstrate the very overdrive. So now we're in um, kind of a high range. So you should be able to do about 60 with it. And um, come back to get the press the clutch. You can feel it kind of the RPMs go up a little bit. And uh, see, speedometer works. There's GPS speedometer, which is a lot, a lot easier.
well, it's quirky, well, it's this, well, it's that. I, I hate buying stuff like that, and uh, I want to make sure that that uh, when I resell something, I kind of restore cars as a hobby. When I sell something, I want it. I want it the way I would want it. I want it to be able to function, work, no surprises, no, boy, he didn't tell me that. I've done, uh, to date, an old Bronco, uh, a couple old BMWs, uh, a few Corvettes, uh, International Scout, Jeeps. Uh, I think next is going to be a 911. Everything is, um, as I say, 